talk about the mental health problem that is going on and some results or should I say some effects of it that may be resulting in people being depressed. Now the first thing that I want to talk about is how we are being separated not only by the people that we have put in charge but by this virus that China and I repeat that, China set upon us American people. I'm not a man to go around and put blame on others. I'm, I'm a good Christian man myself. Now, I'm not saying that some limp-wristed, democratic, liberal piece of shit are fucking trying to tote this virus as a pandemic. But we true Americans really know that it's a plandemic. And they expect us to allow our voices to be silent during these hectic times. It is almost, there's four days away from Thanksgiving. And I can't go see my extended family. My extended Christian family down in Kentucky. It's a sad thing, indeed. This lockdown here in Michigan has had us, it's had us by the gonads. We don't exactly know what we should do, should we? protest like the Antifa liberals did in the summer? Should we simply just go away? Accept the things. I'll tell you what we should do. We should rise up and we should find out where that governor is, go to her house and maybe pay her a visit like the days of old. See how much she loves her family. See how separated away from her family is. Maybe show her what it feels like to be separated from her family. You know what I'm saying? Of course you Americans know what the fuck I'm saying. Proud white American just doing his best to get by every fucking day. You know they're going to try to censor me. But you know what really gets me? You know what really, really gets me? That is probably going to get a lot of people off this video, but the election. I am sick and tired of hearing about Biden won the election. No, he did not. He stole it. The proof is there. They will not allow us proud Republicans or Trump into the fucking areas to see the counting going on. They are allowing these Biden lovers in there though to count the votes and every time it comes back and says Trump won. They stole the a fucking election. Donald D J. Trump is our president and he will be president January 20th. And there's plenty of time for us to get not only all the proof, but the missing ballots. This is just another George Bush situation in reverse. In a way, it's reverse racism. And we all know how much racism is wrong. Or so the liberal says. Liberal is the most racist man on the fucking planet. He'll tell a black man that he's worth something and then sell him a bag of crack. After giving that money for that crack, he'll call the police and say that this black animal attacked him. Man grabs his crack and has his money. I've seen it before. I used to live in the mighty city of Detroit. It was a boom in paradise until the liberals came around. They brought crack, heroin, meth, a little bit of devil's ganja. Now that that's legal, disgusting. In my version of America, picket fence, nice family, wife in the kitchen, kids, minding their elders, of course, with their manners, not running around like animals. But that form of America no longer exceeds itself. It is gone, away, it is a far off dream replaced with a liberal nightmare and nobody cares or at least nobody's out there actually doing something about it here's what we gotta do though you gotta dig in and you gotta stand behind your president okay he got us out of the Paris Accords 
He knows what he's doing. Get out there and vote. Remember, we're gonna we're gonna redo it again. We're gonna have another election. We're gonna see how this goes the second time around. I'm telling you, Trump is going to win. Nihilistic nemesis. Remember to like, comment, subscribe for more. And this has been your daily video. I know that we're gonna talk about mental health and what the cause of it is, but I had to say what I had to say. Thank you. <laughs>